What is going on everybody, it's Nick also knows Born Gamer here, and while some of you may be searching the internet for all the Xbox One, keep in mind, just the Xbox One information, I'm going to give it to you in one short, sweet little video, and all I ask is that you leave your opinions down below about what you thought of Microsoft's conference and all that is Xbox One, and uh, if you feel like dropping a rating and subscribing for more, I'd be greatly appreciative. Now first off, Microsoft did not announce the release date, however, it was teased beforehand by a Rare employee, Rare being a company that is owned by Microsoft right now, that their game would be coming out in November, so this does leave some credence that it will be a November release. It kind of makes sense to be a November release, that's kind of been the trend for the last couple of years, but other than that, all they announced was a $500 system that contains 500 gigabytes of memory and all the bells and whistles that come with that VCR player that is an Xbox One. The first huge game announcement at this year's conference was Kinect Sports Rivals, and by that I'm just fucking kidding with you because nobody likes Kinect Sports. The first real big game was Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Not too much is known, but they did show some gameplay and it looks pretty awesome. The next big game coming up is Rise, developed by Crytek, the creators of the Crisis series. This game looks like it's going to have a little bit of potential, but it remains to be seen just how good it'll be. Making the transition from a Sony exclusive company, Insomniac Games brings their talents to the Xbox One to bring us Sunset Overdrive. While some gameplay was seen, a lot remains to be determined about this game. However, it does seem that Insomniac's bringing their usual formula of a bunch of crazy guns and wild action. Microsoft also announced Killer Instinct, the follow-up to a series that's over a decade old. This fighting genre doesn't really seem to be my flavor, but let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited or not. Following on their previous press conference, Microsoft announced more information for Forza 5. Their new Drive Atar feature, which I'm really, I honestly have really no idea, but it's supposed to somehow get rid of AI in video games through the cloud functionality. Uh, I'm going to leave this a to be seen. I don't really have too much to say about it because I don't really understand the concept myself. And now the next announcement, which is probably going to be the biggest game of all of them they announced here, has to be Minecraft for Xbox One. It seemed kind of obvious, but they do finally seem to have expanded the world. Hopefully that comes with some expanded game types. I'm hoping for Hunger Games on Xbox, but you know, who knows. And now a very big and welcome change. Microsoft is going to be getting rid of the Microsoft points for the Xbox One. They're going to stay on Xbox 360 just because I figure they're just too fucking lazy. So, uh, you know, you can look forward to actually paying with real money that's uh, tailored to wherever it is you're living. Now the next game that I kind of seem to be a little bit reminiscent of the Sony game Layer is Crimson Dragon for the Kinect. Now this is a motion control dragon game where they're shooting. Uh, if this sounds like Layer to you, that's because it essentially is Layer on paper and as many of you know, Layer was a very, very big flop and it stressed the motion control so let's hope that Microsoft does a little bit better job than Sony did back in the day. And by that I mean like a few years ago. <laughs> that's how forgettable that game was. But enough about Sony and all that other crazy shit, we gotta talk about Xbox Smart Glass, which now allows you to go through matchmaking in the middle of a game, so while you're not staring at one screen, you can stare at another because everybody knows it just took too much damn time to press that A button to start matchmaking. However, a very cool functionality that they will add is going to be Twitch TV. That means you're gonna be able to stream and actually record with the Xbox Upload Studio, and you'll also be able to edit that too, which is kind of cool, so you can upload yourself to the internet. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure, I may have missed this. Uh, I know that you can upload to Twitch, I'm not sure if that can be uploaded straight to YouTube or some other proprietary software, but uh, or um, service I should say, but uh, let me know in the comments down below. Now a series that I've heard a lot of great things about, Witcher 3 is going to come to Xbox One. No word on if this is an exclusive or not, but judging by the wording, it doesn't seem to be an exclusive. I'm looking forward to trying my hand at the series because I've heard such great things about it. Now everybody knew Battlefield 4 was going to be coming to Xbox One, however people did not know that the DLC was going to be coming first on Xbox as opposed to any other system. Now this might be a shock to other people who uh, thought that Battlefield did not seem to have that sort of allegiance to the Xbox, but you know, times are changing and uh, I kind of look forward to it if I get an Xbox myself or if I have a PC, you know, uh, all's good and love and DLC. Now the game that I was really excited for, it got announced just before E3, was Titanfall. Now this game has been in the works for a little while here, it's created by the guys that brought us Call of Duty all the way up through Modern Warfare 2, save for, you know, World at War and, uh, what is it, Call of Duty 3. I'm really looking forward to this game, it was, I thinking, a competitor to Call of Duty until I heard it's a Microsoft exclusive only. It is going to be a first person shooter, uh, like I said, look out for the future details of that game, I'm going to keep my eye on it, but uh, there's one game that has to take the show, and even though it's only a trailer, I just got the shivers and I just was so excited. Halo 5 has been teased. We all knew Halo was coming but it was teased for a 2014. Uh, you guys can check out the trailer. I'm sure it's just a search 
away and uh <laughs> Uh, yeah, definitely look at that. Uh, Halo 5's looking to be a great game. Uh, the graphics just look fantastic. If they can do anything like they did with Halo 4 at the end of the 360's life cycle, I can only imagine what Halo 5's gonna look like. And, uh, you know, I'm a little Halo fanboy as it is, so you guys can take that with a grain of salt if you really want. Well, let me know what you guys think of the Xbox One. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video for the Xbox 360, so for all that stuff that we can actually afford and get our hands on now, that's something to look forward to. I'm Nick, also known as Born Gamer. Don't forget to leave your feedback down below. I'll see you next time.